All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel here. Got another performance test video coming at you. Today, we're in that Flight Factor A320. Now, I did another performance test with this airplane already, and then I went and collected some more data, and I'm going to do a second test. This is going to be test two. Now, I don't know if I'll upload the first footage. I, I might if you guys want to see it, if I have time to edit that one. But I want us to do two tests to make sure that it wasn't just a fluke on the first one. I just want to make sure that the data is consistent across the board. So let's go ahead and get right into this today. As you can see, we're sitting here in uh, Atlanta on 26 left is the runway that I took off from. All right, so you can see here on the environmentals, let's go ahead and make sure that these are set up properly. I added these in already. The wind was 320 at 5. We have that located in there. There was no gust, no turbulence. It was a pretty pretty nice morning. Temperature was 29 Celsius. You can see we have that here. Barometric pressure was 29er and 9er 8. We have uh, not really any thermals going on. Obviously, runway is dry. No other conditions here. So pretty good day for testing. Just a light breeze there out of the north-northwest at 320 degrees. So we've got our weather set. Let's go ahead and hop into the cockpit here, take a look at what we have programmed. I've already programmed the box here a little bit, but we should be ready to go. So the zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight CG are right here. We have 58.5 with a CG of 32.0. I converted that from pounds to kilograms. The aircraft to actual zero fuel was 129,000 pounds, but that's been converted to 58.5. Our block fuel was 10.0 kilograms. And we have that located here. We're just about 20 pounds under from the APU burning, but that looks good. Our perf data, here is our V-speeds for the takeoff. We're at 151, 153, 155. Flex 52 degrees, a flaps one takeoff. So that is set. So all we gotta do now is fire up the engines and verify our gross weight matches. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a takeoff test. All right, so the aircraft is fired up and ready to go. We have our gross weight of 68.4. That matches. So I noted for takeoff weight, so I noted for this takeoff from flex to 80 knots, it took 15 seconds. And from flex to V1, it took 31 seconds. So we'll go ahead and release the parking brake. And I'm gonna start the timer as soon as I see flex enunciated in the FMA here. Start the clock. Here we go. Nose forward on the stick. All right, so our first checkpoint here from flex to 80 knots was 15 seconds. That is right on the money. So let's go ahead and continue the takeoff. We're looking for 31 seconds at V1. Well, there you have it, folks. V1, 31 seconds. Our, our data matches up. And this is the second time I did this because I want to make sure that when I do these videos, I don't just pick one and I get lucky. So this is the second test I've done. And I'll tell you, the first test was very similar results. I think it was only off by like maybe a second. But um, this is very impressive. Glad to see this. I know I did this test uh, a little while ago and it was much different outcome than what we have here today it was uh, the aircraft was definitely overpowered on the first time I did this video but you can see here aircraft is behaving just like it should and the performance is spot on so that's good to see all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one 